Hello, this is Will Dodd from Oconee River GYSTC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate your view in Stellarium. So first, anything I talk about in this video is going to come straight out of the user guide, which there's going to be a link in the video notes uh, to actually download this user guide so you can reference it if needed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Stellarium. And as always, I have my settings set up so that I can show this, what's on my screen in a planetarium show. So I have spheric mirror distortion on. Uh, so that's why it looks crazy on my screen. So first thing I'm going to do is turn that off by going to tools and spheric mirror distortion, which is going to pull up this view where I can see the whole sky. So in the last video, I showed you how to change time or control time. I'm going to show you how you can control your view, like how to navigate your perspective and what you see in Solarium. So first, I'm going to go ahead and press the L button to speed time up, make the sunset so that we're looking at the night sky so it's a little more interesting. So I'm going to press L again, speed up time. I'm going to press K, uh, and K makes time progress at a normal speed. Now, I do want to point this out. See this green text here? This is just in Stellarium. Uh, this is just one little glitch in the program here. The meteor showers or the location of meteor showers shows up by default. And no matter how many times you save that setting is deselected, it's going to reselect it every time you open up Solarium. So anyway, really easy fix. All you do is go down to this menu and you click toggle meteor shower and it turns it off. So I do that every time I do a planetarium show. I'll just turn that off before getting started. Now we're looking at the night sky here. So first thing I'm going to use is my mouse. I'm using an external mouse rather than a laptop touchpad just because it makes things easier. So I can use my mouse cursor and select anything in the sky and use my left mouse button to click on it. And I just selected the star Vega. So I use my left mouse button to select it. I can actually double click an object and center it in my field of view. Now, once I center in my field of view, I can use the wheel on my mouse and roll forward to zoom into that object. So there's a good close up of the star Vega. And I can roll the wheel backwards to zoom out of that object. Now there's another trick that you can use. You can actually on your keyboard, press forward slash, and there's an automatic zoom in to that object, or you can click backslash and you automatically zoom out and return to your home view, which is great for planetarium shows because it just makes things easy. So again, that was forward slash automatically zooms in, backslash automatically zooms out and returns you to the home position. So that's really handy, especially when you're looking at planets, which there's some planets in our view right now. And we can't tell because we don't have them labeled and they just look like regular stars. So if we go down to our menu and click this planet labels, we can see that Saturn and Jupiter and Uranus too are in our field of view right now. Uh, but Uranus is too far away to see. But we're going to click uh, Saturn here and I can double click and center it and I can roll my mouse wheel forward and backward to zoom in and out of it. Uh, but I would rather use my auto zoom. So I'm going to click forward slash and zoom in and I can actually click forward slash again and zoom in further. And you can see all of Saturn's moons here as well. So I could click on Enceladus here and I can click auto zoom again and it's going to zoom, but that object is so far away that that's as far as we can zoom into it. So I'm going to click backslash, zoom out, click it again, zoom all the way out and go back to my home view. I'm going to do the same thing with Jupiter real quick. I'm just going to click on it, click forward slash, forward slash again, zoom in all the way. And uh, something else cool I can do, Jupiter, you know, being that it's so much closer, I can click on one of its moons like Callisto, do an auto zoom on that by clicking forward slash. And it's close enough to where I can actually see uh, the surface of that moon. I can click backslash, zoom out, backslash again, zoom out, return to my home position. So those are just some view changes in terms of zooms that you can do. Now, if I have this object, Jupiter, double click selected to where I've centered it, uh, if I run time forward, it's actually going to make my view follow Jupiter down over the horizon, which I don't really want to happen. So 
let me uh, reverse time by clicking J multiple times. And then I'm going to click K and, you know, make time normal again. What I can do to deselect Jupiter is I can press my right mouse button. So again, with my mouse button, I can click with the left mouse button and select an object. And then I can click with the right mouse button and it deselects an object. So those are just some handy things. Now, if I want to get back to my home view where I see the full sky again, what I can do is press control H and that's going to pop me right back to my original view. So another thing that you can do is you can actually click on the sky with your left mouse button and drag your mouse and change your view that way. Um, to do the same thing with your keyboard, you can just use the arrow keys and you can change your view that way as well. So you can navigate your the angle of your view using the mouse by clicking in the sky and just dragging your mouse around on your table, or you can just use your arrow keys on your keyboard. So those are some navigation keys that'll help you out with Stellarium. And uh, I'll show you some more in the next video. See you then.